Why do I always forget until after I start? Okay, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Uh, Chloe actually welcomed me back before I could start recording. And now she's just waiting for me to continue. <laughs> All right. Okay, we left off with um, Marcus finding Jericho. Yes! This is why I stopped right before this. This is one of my favorite scenes. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. All right, so illegal gambling and fraud. Sanitation rating sixty. C. Renewal refused. Gary Kays, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Dude, Hank, what the hell? <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. your problem don't you ever do as you're told look you don't have to follow me around like a poodle i'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station i didn't mean to be unpleasant oh wow <laughs> <laughs> knows an apology oh yeah we're friends already that was quick as it's cyber life thought everything huh? There you go. Let's see. He's got a hamburger. And extra large soda. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. <laughs> I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> see? <laughs> so this Pedro he was proposing illegal gambling am I right yeah and you made a bet yeah <laughs> he's like what's your point <laughs> your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. But he's got to die of something. <laughs> oh, God, let's talk about the highway. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Interesting. About Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. This is the best um, one. 
Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work That's such a slam on humans. Brian. <laughs> Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> That's so mean. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. Which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. That was in English. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions. Which can lead to unpredictable behavior. That's not, that doesn't even look like an extra large soda. Jeez. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? <laughs> you always do. <laughs> Why do you hate androids so much? You ever dealt with deviants before? Because it's a cliche, buddy cops. Yeah. A few months back. I remember that. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. Uh, by falling off the roof work, myself. <laughs> know everything there is to know about me. I yeah, I do know quite a bit. Yeah, let's be honest. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report that wink, of suspected according to Brian, is improvised. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. So, um, with Hank, he likes it when. Hey, Connor. Well, obviously, he likes it when right, Connor acts more aboard. human. I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Oh, see, this time he wants you to follow him. What That's do we know interesting. About this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an elevator. Let's see, rock pigeon. LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. <laughs> I love how Hank just puts no effort into it. He wants to Anybody see home? what Connor does. Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. You're not even wearing a vest, Hank. That was so cute that he wanted to protect Connor. Oh, what do we find? Oh, just more magazine stuff. Red ice epidemic. We'll look at that later. Green Earth past the tipping point. <laughs> yeah, Earth's environment officially beyond repair. How true. Look at all this. These uh, symbols here. Sorry, I was getting a magazine. What the fuck is this? That is a freaking lot of pigeons. Ugh. Jesus, Gross. this place stinks. Military jacket, initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. 
fake ID, Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. In there. I mean, you don't need to analyze it, Connor. Good lord, there's a there's a hole right here. <laughs> I need some fresh air. Barcodes. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Specs care for wild animals. We kind of figure that with all the freaking birds everywhere. It's already nine again. Any idea what it means? RA I have an idea what it means, but I'm not going to say it just yet. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. It's a code. Obsessive compulsive writing. Suspect was recently here. Suspect ran to the living room. LED deactivated 11 6 20, It's LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Blue blood. Report missing 10 11 2036. Definitely android. Alright, let's see. Bird cage. Jesus, I hate these things! Metal hook. Finger marks recent. No fingerprints. What does that say? Traces of avian fecal matter. Oh, that's how he left fingerprints. That makes sense. Traces of galvanized steel. To construct because he's an android so he doesn't actually have fingerprints suspect ran towards entrance suspect heard us enter suspect is still here suspect. Up there. No. Ah! God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Yes, sir. This is one of the coolest scenes. I'm coming after you, bro. I 
just gonna follow him. Okay. We're going to we're, we're going fast but risky. Out of the way. I know, it's pretty awesome. I almost don't want to say anything, it's so cool. Okay, I'm coming after you, bro. You be careful. Out of the way! All the way. This is the coolest thing. Here. I didn't even hesitate. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We had it. How did you even get over it's here before fault. I did? I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. <laughs> the little confused head tilt. He compares him to a pool one. Yeah, Connor is very dog-like. He's like, Rrr. he just wants to... Love you, Hank. That was pretty easy. So, oh, I missed some stuff. Find diary, find LED. Examine. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. So this is if you dick around too much and you know don't do anything. So you can again dick around too much and miss him or have Connor get killed. <laughs> and then if you choose um, not to save Hank, obviously he's pissed off. <laughs> Let's see, we've got... Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. Yeah, well, we've seen a couple of these mobs I'm before. Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? <laughs> only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Well, I don't know if it's a matter of trust, this just that a matter of desperation. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. 
Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Well, because I banged up a little bit. Settle in. Get some light in here, guys. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. Um. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. See, this, this part of the story doesn't make any sense. They're machines. Can't they just be rebooted? Like, can't we just find the parts she needs and, you know, get her back? I was just standing around. It's a little weird. Oh, I might have missed that. Um, they threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. Why, though? To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Like, it doesn't make any sense at all. Like, they, they equivalent shutting down with death, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, if I shut down the computer every day, you know, but I can just turn it back on and nothing is lost. Like, even if you... Even if a memory is completely wiped, create Aria indeed. Michigan, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Calculating route. Well, got that. <laughs> At least it's nice and lit now. Oh yeah, I already talked to you, Josh. Uh, what's up, Simon? No? Okay. Um, where is Lucy, anyway? But, like... Why... Why are they even built this way? Not in very good shape, am I? You're fine. My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. 
think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Like, I sort of get that. It's the same as death, but like, why were they built that way? That they, I mean, they're not, it's weird because they, there's things about them that are, uh, I think you're blocking my way to Lucy. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. You can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Sure you can. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Fair enough. Nice talking to you. You let me buy? No, she won't. Fine. Is that? No, it's a different mall. Never mind. <laughs> That'd be cool. Alright, let's check over here. Oh, there's RI 9 again everywhere. Uh, I can't go that way. It must be very boring to be an android. Because you don't have to eat. You don't have to sleep. You don't really need to even sit down. Ah, there you are, Lucy. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Oh, I just said they don't need to sit down. <laughs> and like, they don't, they learn Show in me. like 0 0.000000000000 one second. So like, all the joy that you get out of learning is I'll stop the bleeding. Pretty much gone, I guess. You don't feel pain, which Why didn't that heal? Drink this. Blue blood, isn't it? Why you just happen to have some? If it's such a rare commodity around here. I know, I know, I'm picking at Give things, but... Hand. I love story-driven games, and when the story doesn't make any sense, or isn't even consistent within its own world, that's when it's like, mm, wait a minute now. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? 
Your choices will shape our destiny. Yeah, could you be any more obvious about it? <laughs> Pose a plan. Yep, let's go. Simon. Kind of looks like he's asleep, but maybe he's just in low power mode or I something. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. Again, why didn't anyone Dark's else think of that? We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Sure you can. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. You don't we have to do that. We need without fighting. Exactly. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. No. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Of course you are. <laughs> Maybe it's worth a try. Josh, you didn't give me a thumbs up? <laughs> I think that's the first one I completely 100%ed. I mean, it's a super short chapter, but still. Talk to dying androids, talk to Josh, talk to Norris, talk to damaged androids, light the... Let there be light! Marcus hatches the plan. Alright, I think we're... Oh good, this one. <laughs> I was going to say, I think we're moving on to Kara. You're going to be okay? We'll get some help here. Soon as we will be just a bad memory. That's a cool looking house. This is the place. Uh huh. Let's go. I've seen a couple of different endings. I have not done the camp scan, you know, and obviously I can't now. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta angle the camera. Just keep Keep your finger on the. Uh, there you are. You use Lotco? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. If you go I to don't know the. I told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Why didn't he recognize that? She was an android immediately, Kara, because her model, he's got a magazine that, no, whatever. I don't know why he did Come that. Come on in. Don't be shy. Well, I guess I kind of do, because the game told him to. Look at those encyclopedias. History of painting. Interesting choice. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Um, Alice isn't wearing oh, a coat. Don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Why do you have such a big, empty old house? I mean, Please? I don't know. It's it's a really cool Make environment. Don't get me wrong. It, it's got a really nice um, atmosphere to it. It's got lots of really cool uh, pieces. But like, how did you hear about me? An android. How does he keep that On house? Street, he said you <laughs> like, could help us. Never mind. I keep asking questions and then immediately thinking, oh yeah, that's probably why. Deviant, huh? How did you know that immediately? What about her? She's 
human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. <laughs> Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no Android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Ooh. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. I don't like this place. You don't like any and place. Again. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Let's be careful. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. Alice? I somewhere What's discreet up? for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. Now, you may be wondering why that door was significant. If you've not seen this place. Okay, let's just take a little look see. Okay. I'm already ready you to go. Just stand over there. Yep. I know what to do. Those boots are cool. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Well, he's not wrong about that. What's funny is that this is very similar to in the demo. I'm sure that's where they get got the setup from. You know what's strange? What? For some unknown reason. Uh huh. The trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That is pretty that's strange. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? You said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. Has, so deluded. I mean, he's not wrong, but why would he immediately jump to that conclusion just because history. he's worried about a child? <laughs> That's like saying, I mean, I don't know. It seems kind of sexist, actually, to assume that a female presenting android getting upset that a child is in danger. That's what you get for having a dream. Oh. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusion. Uh-huh. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. Okay, shut up. Can I get out yet? No more. Hope's dashed. I almost envy you. Could you shut up so I can move? <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh. 
Looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Uh, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> Good for her. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Car! Wake up, Car! Meet me in the living room. Why would you say that if... Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're, we're doing it. Well, that didn't help. Okay, okay. Okay. So now we gotta push this. Oh, there it is. Easy enough. Come on, let me go. Memory corruption repaired. Easy. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm letting you out. Let's do it. <laughs> Help us. No. This can't be happening. Oh, what the? But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Yikes. Well, I'm sure you'll have your Toy Story style revenge. Yeah, you're fine. Frickin' camera angles, man. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lock. It should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slack. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. He doesn't even care. I'm right here. Okay, not can't go in there. All right, what's this over here? All right, nine again. Gotcha. So someone here. Oh, there you are. There's the polar bear. <laughs> Such a cool design. Yeah, heck yeah. Gonna unleash the beast.
Yeah. Okay, there we go. There's that. <laughs> I have plenty of time. Arctic tensions escalate. How androids alter your brain. Oh, that might be an interesting one to read. Not now, obviously, but. Hmm. What's this over here? Heck yeah, I'm taking this gun. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Now, where the heck? I forget which room she's in. Doesn't matter, I got plenty of time. Alice, are you in this room? I don't know, I'm checking the fire. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Oh, I could do something with that. Maybe after I find Alice, I could do something with it. Oh, there she is. No, no, don't turn that on. I thought. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, the the chase. All right, which freaking room is it? Is it this room? <laughs> I'm gonna check every single room till I find her. I can't remember which one it is. Ah, oh, there she is. Easy. Alice. Car. Car, you remember me? Of course. How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come here. We have to go. Follow me and don't meet any of us, okay? All right, Alice. Luther! He's way over there. All right, so let's see. Yes, Lot. I'm finished here. Go face the little one. Right away. Can I burn this place to the ground? Heck yeah, I'm sp well, I can't have just disappeared. Gotta be here soon. They'll be here soon. What are you waiting for? Go look. Oh god. Ah. Smoke everywhere. Of course. Okay, let's see. He just walked right by where we were. Yikes. Okay, where do we want to go next? Oh, come on. That wasn't loaded when I found it. Uh, back door. Oh, I unleashed the... Oh, dang. I unleashed the polar bear, but Alice! we didn't get to see it in action. Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! Oh, 
I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you? Oh, he dares. I let them out. Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! <laughs> well, I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> What's up, Luther? I didn't want to hurt you. Oh, look at the, the fire me to obey and the light going on the background with the little when I saw the sparks. Little That's cool. Life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. Yeah, we're cool. Someone who could help you across the border. How? I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. That's a cool. That's so cool. Oh, there's the bear. Oh, yay! He got away. That's nice. <laughs> oh wow! Look at all that. Okay. So, Luther joins us no matter what. Let's just look back. Man, look at all this. Okay, this branches off immediately when I escaped being reset and all of this down here is what would have happened if I hadn't done that I still miss some stuff but I think you get a different magazine if you don't reset free monsters oh don't call them that bathroom manager is loud so I could have had the choice of killing it and showing it up but I didn't so there's all that search for Alice Alice is found enter main room set fire to house burning down the house woo go to the quarter this is all like if I hid which I didn't do. Look at all this. This is all stuff that probably would have happened if I had been caught. And I wonder what this is if I don't unleash the androids on him. Because I've never seen that possibility. I mean, the, the game points you to it, so... Why is it raining in your mindscape right now, buddy? Where is she? There's the exit. I, sh I shouldn't say that's what that is, but who cares at this point? If you're watching this and you don't know what's going on, then this is a very spoilery game. <laughs> I'm doing right now. Sorry, but it's just—it's again—it's right there. Hello, Amanda. <laughs> Kinda. I've been expecting you. You're still trusted, I'm huh? Okay. 
He came in with an umbrella. That's uh strange. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Yeah. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Oh. Well I agree. <laughs> I may not be suited for this investigation. Oh, I don't want to say that. Maybe you should consider replacing me. No. Did you manage to learn anything? She liked that though. Did you notice? Um, diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. Weeks, really? What else? You guys are advanced enough to create and androids and that cells. are basically like humans. <laughs> it still takes weeks to decipher enough. that. You came very close to capturing that deviant. Yeah. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? Well, I saved his life, so he probably likes me. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. Uh. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Yes, ma'am. He looks so lost. It's a self-driving car. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Find a way inside. I'm not ringing it again. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, must be motion censored. Alright. That's a cool looking car. I mean, they're in Detroit, so that makes sense. Alright, let's look around back. Yeah. Open window, I think. Oh, there he is. Hank is unconscious. Lieutenant Anderson! Not open window. Break it. Get in there. Whee! Easy. Flop. Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> Aww. Check on Hank. Well... He's fine. Traces of alcohol, 40% alcohol content. Yeah, see? Heart, sight, arrhythmia, no signs of trauma. He's alive. He's fine. Black lamb, scotch whiskey. One bullet remaining. So. Lieutenant. Ethelic coma suspected. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Slap, 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 slap. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! You have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. 
I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We <laughs> get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh, God. Still up! Attack! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Attack! Your dog is kind of useless, buddy. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, wait until we're in the bathroom. Then you can be sick all you want. Oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, God. I can't imagine how much... I'm not Tell grumpy as to like you. Why would he put that as a uh, sticky note on his own mirror? I want a bath. Thank you. Well, you're Sorry. getting a shower, actually. Push. This must have been so much fun to act out and record. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Process Jesus, of elimination, I, I like the it. Only cop in the world. It gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Well, we've learned that's not true. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? Um... You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. <laughs> Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. <laughs> you know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's He's some already acting there. some bring Hank clean clothes. Yes, I'll sir. Go get them. Oh my god. Um, this is so much fun. I agree what with him. Hank Okay, Stripe, hippie, you seem like a hippie kind of dude. Let's go with it. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? Yeah, he's just getting, getting it out of a system. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. This is the... Uh... Give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Sure. <laughs> he means it, by the way. Wait for him. All right. Time to pull the plug. Tainted love. Bomb, bomb, bomb. There was Norris. I went through it pretty quickly, but did you see Norris? All right, let's poke around a bit. Oh, there it is. Aw, he's so cute. Cole Anderson. Lost his son. What about his wife, though? That's what I'm curious about. What happened to her? Yeah. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. When Hank has two solid tendencies. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Oh, I didn't even get to poke around that much. Oh well. Aw. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. <laughs> Man, there's so much more to look around in his house. That was over. T that was not five minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dang, I barely did anything. There's like jazz records in his house and stuff we could have found. Lauren Hank was playing Russian Roulette. So for those of you who don't know what that is, but maybe you don't, Russian Roulette is this really horrible, horrible game of chance where you have a pistol and you only have one bullet and you basically Keep pulling the trigger until this is crazy. You know, catch us, you fire. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's gonna keep the spare parts in the blue blood. Follow me. I mean, ugh, that's that's terrifying to me. Whoops. Okay, there he goes. I was uh, pressing R2 like in Assassin's Creed. That's not how that works. No, they're not gonna. I'm honestly following you. you. You guys seem to know where you're going. Watch out! Now what do we do? I'll find another way. I press the button, there we go. Wee. Alright. North is all by herself over there. No! We're a cyber life place? You gotta be kidding me. Ooh. Nice duck and roll. Okay, we don't need to be jumping everywhere, guys. Marcus, climb up here. Yes, ma'am. Again, we don't need to be jumping everywhere. Ah, uh, you guys cheated. You okay? No more. Okay, I didn't didn't have to do that part. I see. Could you guys at least wait for me? Jesus, it's my idea. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we uh -huh. have to get rid of that drone. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Got you, girl. Again, don't can't all androids do this? Why is it? I guess because I get it. He's the playable character, but like, all right. So that's immediately not going to be right. I can tell. Oh, I've already forgotten how to do it. Okay. Man, I got it right on the first guess. That was easy. What's cool is that he's doing all this. I don't have to do anything. No, nope, I could do that though. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Easy. Good job, Marcus. Fist bump. 
Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Okay, you guys are blocking me. You guys are you guys are blocking me. Could you could you get out of the way? Oh, awkward. You were trespassing on private property. How did he Your presence constitutes a level two infraction? I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? No, yeah, grab and hide. John! I need your help. John! How did he know to do that? There you are! What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. It's weird that they still use their given names. Let's finish up and get out of here. Okay. Let's find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. I I found some. Check the bigger crates. And the security is kind of lax if I, he can open everything with a knife. Oh, these are all AP-700s. I think that was the one being sold at the beginning with Kara, wasn't it? Why aren't you like us? Because you, you just be opened free. it? <laughs> You could join us. I have a theory on why he can do that. But again, I'm not going to say just yet. Like everyone, what's interesting is that even though this isn't particularly subtle in its writing, People still have a lot of theories about it. They have theories about RA9, about Marcus, uh, Kara, and Connor. And they're not, none of it's wrong because it, they're just theories. It's open to interpretation. That's why so many of these carry. characters Let's are go. archetypes and, and cliches. Is to Take me with you. Leave you more open. Can't trust him. You, you know what? We can't just leave him here. Okay, shut up, guys. We Let me do it. Back with us. It's too dangerous. I don't care. We're bringing him back with us. They come with us. Oh, look at that little smile. Look. I know where you can find more spare parts. Yeah, she, see? What He's already mean? useful. The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. Well, this is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we right. get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Well, we're going for it, so. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Oh, she liked that. Well, 
Why were the dogs dogs barking at me? Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah. Who's gonna take I wanna, my kids I wanna cause a blackout. I want to. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? I'll take it. Looks like it. Take this. But he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Short circuit. I like that I can to hurt the yards either, which is only going to do well for me. Let's go. Hurry, get in. Drive out of the docks. These don't have to steer. <laughs> Just gonna casually leave. <laughs> They're not even questioning why that truck is leaving. A truckload. Yep. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. And John. He helped too. North is already a I friend. Damn, that was quick. Here, Android is Simon's a friend. a friend. Yay. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. You know, you're what very righteous for hear, someone who was pretty cozy in your life. We take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! I mean. <laughs> All that's true, I'm just saying that, like, he's getting these ideas super quickly when he hasn't really... Comparatively speaking, he, he's lived a very easy life. Like, Carl already treated him like a person, you know? He could pretty much do whatever he wanted already. Like, yeah, he faced discrimination outside of that, but a lot of 
these androids are coming from homes where they weren't were treated as objects and he was treated like a person from day one so well not really from day one but eventually like uh, at first oh, he wasn't but playing with a drill inside Carl kind of learned kind of like kind of like Hank's she journey actually or he didn't really What's like androids at first but then the more he learned about okay. Marcus, the more he Let's realized that Marcus was just a person. Jesus. And same thing with Hank and Connor. Hank at the moment doesn't, well, when you first meet up with him, he doesn't really like androids, but the more he interacts with Connor, the more he sees them as people. Sexiest androids in town. Hell yeah. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> well, one of them oh, is uh, Brian's wife, oh, so... <laughs> Where is she? Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's North. Oh, there she is. That one's her. Connor, the fuck are you doing? I'm looking at coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> the investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Well, at the moment, they were at at the time of this game, they were engaged, but now they're married. And they're so freaking cute yeah. together. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah. Like wasting your time. There's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Ah, oh, man, that that one cop is terrible at his job. He's like, oh yeah. You know, he just had a little bit too much fun. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I know you don't like that. Critically damaged. I'm standing on the wrong side of it, but you... That's in my time of death, 6.24 p.m. Severe bruising, asphyxiation. Cardiac arrest, heart attack not cause of death. No kidding. <laughs> Victim was strangled. No oh, shit. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising. Thing on the neck. Doesn't prove anything though. Could have been a rough play. Reactivation required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh, come on, Jesus. I thought it was just a tap. She is. She does really good in this scene. Uh, explain. You were damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Um, 
Did you kill him? No. Yep. No, it wasn't me. Tell me what happened. He started hitting me. Again. And again. Okay. I begged him to stop. Were you alone stop. in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? Yeah, she's gone. So there was another android. I cut her off, Seven sorry. Over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Notice they're still among all referring the to the androids as it. Deviants aren't easily detected. Mm. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for android eyewitnesses. Did you know the victim? Let's ask uh, this handsome fellow right here. Maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk uh, much, you know? do they come it. in, do their business, has to be this one. Way. Need human fingerprints. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry, Hank. It won't let me do it any other way. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. I need you to buy this Android for me. Can you rent this Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Couldn't they just ask the manager to do this? Hello. A 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Cleveland Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. She's got glitter Follow on her me. body. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Now, most of them don't like this, so... For this one section... Oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? Looking into her memory. There she is. A blue-haired Tracy to headed towards the exit. Okay, so she went past this guy and the one next to him. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Okay, so that one definitely saw something. That one might have seen something. Let's ask her. Hey, what am I? Let's try this one. That's another Amanda. Her. Okay. Oh. Okay. Up oh, there she is. It turned back into the club. So now she's going towards that room. Huh, that's she's got a cute little smile. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. Yes, sir. Okay, so there are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I'm asking. I know what you mean. Oh, see, there she is again. Red room. Okay, so... She might have been seen by one of these guys on the side, so... 
Let's ask this one. Yep, there she is. Turned into the blue room. see something? You're at the right angle. It hit in a room. It left the room. Pointless to go in and go right back out. Um, you probably saw something. Oh, do you see her feet? There she is. It fled through the staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait, I'll take what? it from here. Hey. I'm only going through this so fast because I know how, what to do. Plus, it's just logical deduction if you look at what the information. Too late. No, I wouldn't say that. There's another door. There's RA9 again. I think she's over here. Yep, there she is. Oh, oh, press the wrong button. Don't move! I'm more paying attention to the... Oh, fuck, wrong button. <laughs> Ah, again. Why do I keep pressing X when it says circle? Jesus. Of that was stuck for it. How much was that? Them actually wrestling. <laughs> Quick, they're getting away. I mean, how often I've messed this up by just pressing the wrong button is ridiculous. I almost pressed the wrong button again. That's why I picked casual, because I... Spare. It gets pretty effed up if you choose to shoot them. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. 
And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. You sound like you enjoyed it. I didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. What's weird is that they're the same model. <laughs> well, they look very similar anyway. It's probably better this way. Mm. He's just kind of processing all this. What I would have really liked in this is for it to be a human that the Deviant fell in love with. I mean, I don't care, whatever, male, female, whatever, but just a human to show even more of that, the blurred lines. Because the, they're, what they're showing here, yeah, I mean, Luther just joined us, of course, is mother daughter and then we have it's a very familial relationships i guess is what i should say the ax 400 android reported to have attacked its owner in a detroit suburb is still at large police appeared to lose its trail after a close encounter with investigators the arctic conflict has escalated to new heights this morning we have just learned that the USS Iowa, a destroyer-class submarine patrolling in Greece. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees, far below seasonal averages. And this cold front is... It's a good thing Slotko had a car. Days up until Monday I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. Meanwhile, fire crews... I saw it once in the garage. Oh, my God. Oh, that was us. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I that was bad. It all went down so quick. Uh, where are we going? These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? I probably shouldn't have listened to the news. Well, the 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 public opinion captured. is now hostile. They said they were humans helping androids. Because <laughs> I burned down Vlatsko's house. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Okay. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Hey, he deserved this house to be burnt down. I don't this regret doesn't... that choice at all. Stay inside. What are you guys gonna do for this busted though? Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's <coughs> 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. Sure, she will. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. What about... up there? Over there. Thirty degrees isn't that bad. Come on. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Why are they talking in Fahrenheit anyway? Isn't 
It would make more sense if they talked in Celsius. positive about it. Come over here. Look safe inside. Let's go. Hey Luther, you want to lend me your muscles? I'll handle this. I wonder what his model was originally for. It had to be some kind of manual labor job, because look at how he's built. Here we go. Thanks. Looks like it used to be a restaurant. Anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. USS Iowa missing. All Android band tip for music prize. It's present war on too close to cyber life. Well, we already have, you know. Some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Why did you even bring cookies? She says cookies left like they already ate some. It's just a weird line. that there's always blankets and pillows wherever we are. Alice? What's up, Alice? Oh, that was quick. Come on. Alice it, would but... get bored in school, wouldn't she? Or maybe she would like hanging out with kids her age. I don't know.
Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Unicorn. No, knight. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot. who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. Well, not always. Life is <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the story while I was choosing it. Another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Alice. Sleep tight. <laughs> He's very awkward about it. Mm. She's fine. What's up, Luther? from your life before Zlatko? I'm curious about this. No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. Yeah, makes sense. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. That's fair. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Hmm. Free. <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. I don't think anybody does. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yeah. Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Ah! Now, if I had checked the gun, it would be possible to grab it right now, but... Um, protect Alice, of course. Yeah, he's getting it. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. They're just Jerry. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. 
We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> yeah, they're just Jerry's. That's fine. <laughs> You wanted to show me and now I have to oh, turn it on. I see how it is. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. I love this guy. He's a he's such a good actor. I mean, I, you don't get to see him for much, but I really think that everyone did a really good job with what they were asked to do. <laughs> See, look at that one. He's he's so excited. are going nuts. They're so happy. <laughs> it's a nice little moment. Jeez. The group enjoyed a quiet moment together. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's see how... Oh, did you see? The software instability already had the R and the 9 in there. I don't know why it's taking him so long compared to the other two main characters. So, how's it going? Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? <laughs> When do you not? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, he didn't like that. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. You could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. This is such a good moment. Such a nice scene. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? 
Really? Oh, that was all from Detroit. RA9 is the link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Or it's a code. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. That's a one theory about it. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Weird how he's holding himself like he's Those cold. Two girls. They just wanted to be together. Oh, he called them girls, did you notice? They really seemed in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. <laughs> he likes that. Your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Yeah. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. That's kind of a disturbing thought. Friend path unlocked. Where are you going? You get drunker. I need to think. That was a good scene. It's such a good scene. I kind of wish it was longer. Like, Brian and Clancy have such good chemistry that even when the writing is kind of not the greatest, their acting and the way that they work off each other kind of works through the awkward writing. And they make these scenes work so good like you even when if you choose a more aggressive path their their chemistry is still so freaking good so yeah look at that <laughs> all these choices i could have had discuss sorry right, yeah oh did i miss oh well A lot of these, I think, is if Connor had died in the previous scene, this would have changed a little bit. Hank, Hank left Connor alone. You know, he could have shot me. <laughs> if I had, if our relationship had been different, he could have shot me. Uh, let's go one more scene. Oh, this one. Okay, this is actually a good scene to stop on. After we're done with it. strap or tower we'll get there you know the, the thing is though is that sometimes that the what they're portraying the humans acting toward 
androids is how they act toward each other. So it's not like <laughs> being acknowledged as a human or as a it's living thing would change that this. much. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. Oh. That's where we need to go. Oh, okay. I thought it was the other scene. Never mind. This is still a good one to stop on. Oh, looking so snazzy, Jesse. On a bias actor's name for a minute there. He is a very good looking man, I gotta say. We can't leave anything <laughs> Look, I'm not above being, <laughs> being a little. Let's take a look at this here tower. Cool. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Strike human supervisor. Elizabeth Wilson. Emily Wilson, St. Rim School. Smart watch, got her phone number. Parking badge. Water service interruption. Fire safety rating four. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine. I'll be right down. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Why are you even bothering with this charade when you can just go boom? There you go. Like that. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Get in there. That's, that is kind of cool where you just push the buttons. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. It, it's even laid out like a phone. That's interesting. You are here. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to the bathroom. Cafeteria. I think. Oh, that's the stairwell. Hey, what's up? Ah, bathroom. Here we go. Meeting room. I didn't even check which this was. Oh, they're all occupied except this one? Weird. This is, <laughs> reminds me of that section in Final Fantasy VII where you have to get to a meeting room through the bathroom.
Now, how did they arrange that? So we're a WM400 Android, pretending to be. What's interesting is that the, okay, where are we going? Find utility Android. Well, there's this one. Cleaning in progress, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Ah, there's one. But he's in a room full of people that would probably alert them. Ah, they might not even notice. <laughs> I need your help. Thanks. Steel maintenance cart. escape which is where it's a service room cafeteria Ah, oh, there it is. They don't ask questions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good question. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. I got you, babe. There's bound to be. Uh, is there one closer? Hey. Oh. Let's mess with this. Platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Yes, ma'am. I mean, unless it's actually locked, that's not really going to stop people. Laser soul. Visual. There's no reason for them to do this. 
they can just go up to the top, like in their outfits. <laughs> wish I, I didn't have to take control of this moment. Wish I could just watch. What's interesting okay. is that they had to do all that in the Come on. Um, motion the capture. Others. What, Josh, you didn't feel like dressing up, buddy? Let's do this. Everybody step back. Uh, that wasn't all that impressive. Let's go. Notice there, I'm not been given a motion control yet. That's that's exactly why no I picked casual so I wouldn't have to. I hate motion controls so much. What do you want to do, Marcus? Uh, um, Ruse. Wait here. Let's not hurt them. I don't care if you don't like that What's north. That doing here? No idea. Hey buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central! Fast! Central, we got armed intruders! Nope. Sent that's okay. Nope. That's fine. Okay, well, they that's one way to do it. Did you already get shot, Simon? Jesus Christ. Simon, the shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Well, I probably should have drawn my gun. Oh well, I was trying to avoid doing that. She just go boop, you're free. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! I hope I'm not doing that. Us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. You know what, Norris? Why don't you shut up? Oh man, if he's already shot before I do this, is he gonna get killed? Oh well. Marcus, your face. I'm sure it'll be fine. Look, he's got a barcode across ready. his face. Ready. Ready. 
home. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient, with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Mm. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Work. Justice work segregation. Um, let's see. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Yeah. Let's go! You're gonna probably die, because you've already been shot. <laughs> Man, they Simon, really don't coming. like me right now. I can't, Marcus. Yeah, you've already been you shot once. Me. Sorry. Oh, I'm going to Simon, of course. What are you doing? Hurry! not been having a good day. <laughs> right, he's been shot twice. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal with Simon. What does that mean? He won't be able to make the jump. Well... If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't That's move. true. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. No, I'm not shooting him. He'll be fine. We'll just leave. I won't kill one of our own. Jeez, Norris, calm Simon, down. We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. For me, he's been shot twice. I don't think he's gonna make it either way. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's see how images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal yep. rights for androids. The operation mm -hmm. was covert and resulted in no casualties. Yep. These events took there we go. just a few feet. They're back up again. Studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is now they're back up to a different list of demands. <laughs> and it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized? Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Okay, I'm going to have to get the public opinion way up. Because <laughs> they were at hostile. I made them go back up to indifferent, but they need to get up even further. Man, look at all that. Group escaped, but Simon was left behind. Yep, sorry about that, Simon. He could have come with us, but... 
he got shot <laughs> twice. Yeah, and peacefully. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, okay. I could have pulled a gun on them. Um, let's let's see what's next. I think what's next is Connor's section, but I just want to check. Yeah, okay, I figured. So, he's really getting messed up now. Oh man, I want to keep going. Uh, it's already been two hours. You know what? You know what? I want to do one more section. I'm sorry, but I want to do one more section. I was going to end there because that's a really cool way to end it, but I just want to do one more. Because <laughs> the story is finally getting kicked up. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hello, Connor. Hi. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This isn't a cruise. I've never been on a cruise, but I know this isn't a cruise. Because you're making me row, so. Sounds like you're on a cruise and I'm just... Isn't that weird that he does this in his own mindscape? He's still a servant. It's weird. I don't know if that's on the purpose of it. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Well, now it is. Oh, Earlier it was raining. Tell me, what have you discovered? Um, Hank? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect that clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Um, I thought I knew what I had to do, but now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Right. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. I mean, you could have shot them in the leg, but I guess she, that if your answer won't bother her. Progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. See what I mean? He does that little coin Hi, flip thing. Like, why was he given Shit, that as a here? quirk? Was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. Alright, boys. I don't actually need... To be briefed because I know what's going Still on. Still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Let me make sure we check it out. 
They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could read. All right, so there's a report. Oh, Deviant was shot. We know. <laughs> we were just there. We know. Incident was captured by CCTV. Possible call. The station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. We really need CSI for this. Here? Just two oh. employees and three androids. There's more of Simon's the blood. The took the humans hostage and broadcast. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. Mm. FBI, huh? What's that? My a name's hat. Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crapsy. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Thanks, Chris. All right, well, let's have a look around. Okay. Let me know if you find Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA-9? No. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. I don't think he's RA-9. So we know, yeah, we know that's the spare part. We know he had accomplices. RK series prototype, RK200. Gift from Elijah Kansky to Tar Carl Manfred. You see something? That says a lot right there. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing important except that he's no. an RK series. Nothing. Just like Connor. He's just an earlier version. Holes of assault rifle, yeah. <laughs> poor, poor Simon got his ass handed to him. I feel bad for him. Stolen maintenance unit assailants were disguised. We know, we know they were. Where do I go to get this? Deviants didn't break in. We already knew that. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. <laughs> Have a little smug look. Station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. No evidence they were involved, huh? You sure? It 
it's weird that they make you do this when it's like, yeah, I, I know all this. I just played this section. Yep, there's another. Bleeding Blue. High Sour Life Crelate. Ooh, that's going to be an interesting one to read. Green Earth. Clean Food Craze. All right, boys. This is actually time to interrogate. He's thinking. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Hmm. Huh? Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Hmm. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. So One of someone did mess with your on memory. The surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. And it's that one. Did I'm gonna threaten this one and see what he does. The real one does. Switched off. We're gonna search your what? memory and tear you apart piece by piece. Yep, see? You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! I know you're the one. But I'm gonna. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be oh, shut see, down he's, because he's looking of at you. Me. Oh, you're very bad at playing it cool, man. You're giving yourself away. Let's if make you a give deal. yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. You're only good if I'm focusing on you. Uh, I'm not going to torture him. Yeah. I mean, he reacts the same way no matter what. Oh, God. Oh, yikes. have to try to get this to not do this one in time look it's given me so much time to do it oh got messed up there I'm fine now it's all good. It's a deviant. Stop it. Um, I need your gun. <laughs> nice shot, Connor. Thanks. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. Yep. You saved my life. Yep.
Oh, I didn't run into the cop that I saved at the beginning. Dang. <laughs> and Simon's okay. Dang it, I didn't even... It... Oh, I didn't even run into him. Darn. He's in here. He's in the scene, but I didn't run into him. Darn it. Oh, well. That's fine. Massacre prevented. So, okay. So, let me just explain all the different possibilities that I skipped over. Well, first, the, the cop. I went to run into him. He actually thanks Connor for saving his life, but I missed that. I don't know where he was in the scene, but I totally missed him, which sucks because that was the whole reason I saved him was because I knew he was going to be in this scene later. Um, so I could have just farted around long enough and we wouldn't have gotten anywhere. I could have gone to the roof and I could have encountered Simon and interrogating the deviants. I could have gotten Connor killed in so many different ways. Um, <laughs> so many different ways. I could have, you know, had him shut down by not getting to his heart in time. I could have had him save Hank in that choice and gotten killed that way. And I could have had him rush at the, I think the third option is rushing at the deviant, which gets him killed. <laughs> There's so many ways to get Connor killed in that scene. And I, I don't know if I can get him, I could probably get him killed messing with Simon too, but Connor can get killed so many freaking times, it's crazy. But this is going to sound weird. I, I um, killed him lots of times on purpose because that's how you get a trophy. And like having his heart torn out is probably one of my favorite ones because Hank kind of talks to him like a son. He's like, you know, don't leave me son or something like that. So it's a, it's a really nice moment. It's sad, but it's kind of a nice moment at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to stop here because um, I'm hungry and that's, it's a good, I mean, it's not as epic as the other scene with Marcus, but it's still a pretty good way to end it. I'm going to click continue anyway, but Okay, yeah, this is a good way to end it. So, we're going to start off here with um, Kara when we come back. Things are really ramping up. Like, the first section of the game is pretty slow. There's not much going on. Um, but it, it builds and builds and builds and builds. Once, I would say... I would say like when Marcus and Kara deviate, that's when things start getting started. And depending on how you play, um, you know, it keeps building and building because Kara visits Slot, has to, you know, find a place to stay and then visits Slatsko. And Marcus has that heist that we did and and Stratford Tower and all that, so. And with Connor, his is building and building too because he's given all these opportunities where he faces a deviant and then you as the player decide what to do with them. And so all three of their stories keep escalating and escalating depending on what you choose to do with them. You could, I could have had them all die way before now. <laughs> well, I don't know about Marcus. Marcus is cut really hard to kill. <laughs> Uh, but I'll go into that later. But, um, yeah. I think I'm about halfway done already. It's not a long game. It's like 10 hours. Um, but, yeah. I'll stop here. And when we come back, we'll start right off with this section. And, yeah. That's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.